Hey guys, thanks for watching WebBee TV. Today, I'm really excited because I'm talking with Scott Monty, the head of social media at Ford Motor Company, and he has a lot to say about gamification. You're watching WebBee TV. Hey, Scott. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Excellent. Thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having us on. Of course, of course. Hey, so uh, you are the head of the social of social media at Ford Motor Company. So I'm sure you must be aware of all the trends and everything new social media, right? Uh, well, I try. Uh, it's hard these days because it seems like there's something new almost every week, and uh, certainly the the mainstream is is here and here to stay. Things like Twitter and uh, Facebook. And I think uh, Google, even though uh, its Google Plus platform is uh, more recent, uh, Google has its fingers in so many parts of the web that it's just part of everything we do and everything we are uh, each and every day. So we're trying to stay uh, where the mainstream are, but we're also trying to stay on the cutting edge so we know what's happening next. And one of those things, um one of the trends that I, you know, you, you talked about on your blog and um, is kind of on the cutting edge, I guess, um, is gamification. It seems to have been a big buzzword lately. Um, gamification of social media and news. Um, you wrote a very interesting post on Empire Avenue. Can you explain to people what gamification of social media is and what is your opinion on it? Sure. Uh, well, to some, the term gamification itself may seem made up, and I, I'm sure it was at, at a certain point, but there's actually a definition for it, and it's basically the notion of applying game mechanics or game theory and psychology to uh, regular action. So it's taking something that we would normally do and turning it into something fun. Uh, so rather than just uh, requesting people to help promote your business or to share content, it's giving them a reward, whether it's a digital reward or a reward in real life. We're seeing more of this expressed through sites like Foursquare, for example, that allow you to quote unquote check in to a location and tell your friends where you are. Another thing you were talking about as well is um, the gamification of news and how Google is trying to um, gamify news articles with Google News badges. What do you think about um, about the gamification of news? Do you think that it's actually, you know, will people actually read news articles because they're interested in it and because it's educated and informing them or because they want to get a new badge? You know, I'm not too sure about this one. I think it's an interesting play by Google and a way to uh, kind of adhere to some of the more um, uh, trendy things that are happening. The fact that they're applying it to their news organization to me is interesting because you wouldn't normally think about doing gamification as it relates to news articles. Right. So it, I think it's part of Google's play to become a prominent source of news and information for people when of course there are so many other choices out there whether it's uh, nascent sites like the New York Times.com or CNN.com or whether it's networks like uh, AOL and uh, Huffington Post. Uh, this is Google's way of kind of getting their uh, fan base aligned around the Google News platform and being able to share it. If you're a regular reader of Google News, you might read dozens of articles every month. But wouldn't it be nice to keep track of what you're reading most? With Google News badges, you can learn about your reading habits, create a more personalized experience on Google News, and find articles on your favorite topics, from world news to sports or entertainment. So as the head of, the, of social media at um, Ford Motor Company, is gamification something that you are looking into as well? And is it something that you think other businesses can apply on their website or somehow um, in some way or form online? Well, it's something we're keeping our eye on, certainly. Um, we're trying to figure out how it may or may not fit into our, into our overall um, mix of where we are online. Um, certainly, we've been uh, front and center with, uh, with Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we're the first company to have a, a Google Plus uh, account. Um, so we're, we're constantly pushing the envelope and seeing what, uh, what we can do. Um, don't be surprised if uh, gamification somehow works its way into Ford Motor Company's offerings online. Okay, that's interesting. And what are your 
thoughts on how other businesses, say I have a website, um, is it something that um, people with smaller blogs and websites could be thinking about as well? Or do you think this would be more applied to larger companies such as Google, such as Ford? Well, I think it depends on a couple of things, right? It depends on uh, what you're willing to do with it. Um, it's one thing to have a system like this in place, but how are you going to make it rewarding for your customers? Right. And first and foremost, before you go applying any of these uh, neat whiz-bang tools to your, your sites, um, make sure you have good content. That's really what's going to uh, draw people back is the content, uh, which I think is why it's interesting that Google News, you know, they, they certainly have the content. Uh, it's just they're using this on top of that to kind of drive more interaction. Mm -hmm. And do you know whether this, um, the Google News badges, whether it's running well? Um, do they, have they gotten a lot of positive response? Because it was the first time I heard about Google News badges when I was reading your website. I'd never heard of it. Yeah, I, um, I haven't uh, tracked it enough myself. Yeah. Uh, although I am a platinum badge holder for Ford Motor Company News, All right. I'm proud to say. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't really tracked it anything uh, beyond that. Okay. So I, I don't know what the next step is or yeah. uh, what Google has seen across the, uh, the entire platform. That'll be interesting to, to keep an eye on. All right, Scott. Well, um, thank you very much for joining me and, and letting me know more about gamification. Um, I really enjoy talking to you. So where can people find you online? Well, uh, people can find me uh, at uh, scottmonte.com. Uh, on Twitter, I'm Scott Monty, And on Facebook, I'm Scott Monty. How about that? All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget we have a giveaway. Go to wetby.tv deals to win an iPad 2Ks. Have a great day. Do it.